Welcome back to Chill Plays. Uh, today we're going to talk about vertical content and OBS. Vertical content is the kind of content that you see on Instagram stories, Facebook, uh, TikTok, things like that. So instead of a widescreen 1920 by 1080, uh, you're having a, a 1080 by 1920 uh, vertical window. So in OBS, most everything is done widescreen because you're usually streaming to something like YouTube or Twitch, uh, which has a 1920 by 1080 canvas or 1440p, whatever. So what if you want to make clips of your stuff as you're recording or as you're streaming, there is a free plugin. Yes, I said free plugin from Atom.tv that goes right into OBS and allows you to set up your own vertical scenes and create vertical clips on the fly. I'm going to walk you through that. We're going to jump over on the computer. We'll get it installed and I'll show you how it all works. All right. So now we're over here on the computer. This is just a standard pretty much fresh install of OBS. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to a web browser and we're going to go to atom.tv, A-I-T-U-M.tv. I want you there in the top left, you're going to see vertical plugin. We're going to download this again, free download. If it doesn't start automatically, you can click the link here and it'll start your download for you. So once that is downloaded, in order to install this, first we need to close OBS. So we want to close OBS. Then we want to run through the setup really fast. If you want to start menu folder, it'll create one for you, or you can say no. Install all done. So now we can close our browser and want to restart OBS. Now that we're back into OBS, you'll notice something over here on the side that says vertical. You'll also notice two new things at the bottom, a vertical scenes and a vertical sources. So what this plugin actually does is it separates your scenes and sources into the vertical pane and then the regular pane. So you have your widescreen scenes and sources and you have your vertical scenes and sources. Over there on the vertical tab, we're gonna walk through those buttons at the bottom. But first, let's get this set up. So if we hit to the uh, little cog wheel, it says vertical settings. So resolution, instead of 1920 by 1080, it's gonna be 1080 by 1920. Now, the cool thing about this is even though this is for vertical, if you wanted to stream to two separate places uh, without installing a different plugin that I talked about in another video, you can actually change this resolution. So if you wanted to do 1440p to one place, 1080p to the other place, uh, you can change those here. Uh, video bit rate is gonna be the bit rate that you're recording at. Uh, audio bit rate, same thing. You can set those up to match your recording bit rates in OBS. Now do keep in mind that if you're streaming or recording, this bit rate is going to be on top of your standard bit rate. So if you're recording at 8,000 kilobits per second, and then you're also setting your vertical scenes at 8,000 kilobits per second, you're running a whopping 16,000 kilobits per second. So you got to check your throughput and your bandwidth to make sure if you're streaming or recording that your computer can handle it. Uh, this bottom section is backtrack recording. So your vertical plugin will allow you to do what's called backtrack recording, which means it'll record the last however many seconds you set. So if you're playing a game, you're streaming or recording and you get some nice kill feed or headshot, uh, you can click the backtrack record button on the vertical plugin and it'll grab the last 30 seconds and store that. This is a roving 30 seconds, so it's always the last 30 seconds from when you hit the button. Uh, you can hotkey all of this, so you can set this up to your stream deck. So if you're in the middle of anything and you don't have time to grab your mouse and hit the button, or you're on a separate window, uh, you can set up to your stream deck, so you can just hit a button on your stream deck, clips made, you're good to go. Then you can start uploading to wherever you want to. So backtrack always on. If it's not on, it's not going to record the past 30 seconds. Uh, backtrack recording length, as I was saying, 30 seconds. You can change this to whatever, 15, 20, whatever you want to. The backtrack recording path is where the backtrack is going to be saved. So the backtrack recording and the standard vertical recording are going to two separate places. Uh, so we've got to keep that in mind. Uh, I've just thrown these on my desktop so I can uh, keep track of them. The save backtrack hotkey, if you want to set that there, and then you can go into your stream deck and uh, fix your hotkey there. Uh, streaming, there's not a whole lot of places that do vertical streaming right now. Uh, if you're lucky enough to have a TikTok stream key, this is where you would put all of that in. And again, you have hotkeys for uh, start and stop your streaming. And then your streaming settings, 
Uh, this little checkbox, use main OBS settings. It's just going to use whatever you have set in OBS for streaming on your OBS settings panel. Uh, it's just going to use that here, or you can uncheck this and then you have full control. If you want a lower quality of your vertical content than you do your main content while streaming. Uh, this is the recording tab. Other than the backtrack recording, this is where the standard vertical recording is going to go. And again, on the recording, use main OB OBS settings. That's going to mirror the OBS settings you have set in your recording settings in your OBS settings panel. So many times I can say settings. So we have this set up. Our backtrack recording is set to always on. It's going to go to our desktop. Our recording is using our main OBS settings and it's going to our, our desktop as well in a folder called recording vertical. So you can keep these separate. So you know what's your backtrack recording if you're doing short clips or the full recording, if you're doing a full broadcast. So we're going to click OK. Now you notice this button here changed to blue, which means our backtrack recording is on. So it is currently recording every the past 30 seconds of everything that's going on in OBS. Uh, the first button here is stream vertical. So that's where you would start your stream for your vertical stream. If you had a streaming key to a vertical service, uh, this is separate from your start streaming in your main OBS. So you can stream vertical and not stream your widescreen. This is the vertical recording button. Again, that is separate from your start recording in your main OBS widescreen window. This is the backtrack. So this is what you would click to instantly get a past 30 second clip of everything going on. And this last one is the vertical virtual camera. So if you use the virtual camera of OBS to go to like Microsoft teams or Skype, uh, you can actually send a vertical virtual camera instead of a widescreen virtual camera. All right. So let's get down here to our vertical scenes. So we get a default one here. I'm actually going to delete this one. Yes. All right. So our vertical scenes are separate from our normal scenes, but we can reference them. So you would not have to create separate sources for each of these. If you're going to reuse the same source, uh, that can be pretty CPU intensive. So if you can reuse them, you try to. All right. So I have a face cam here in my regular OBS, and then I got a short clip that I recorded a while ago. And this is just for demonstration. So in OBS, you can switch between the face cam and the movie just like that. So vertical scenes, we're going to add, and I'm going to call this vertical face cam. So for my sources, I'm going to add a scene and you notice I have all the scenes vertical and widescreen here. So I'm going to use my face cam. It pops up over here. And again, this is not widescreen. This is uh, vertical content. So you're going to have to move these windows around a little bit to get where you want. So most clips end up looking like that with a face cam at the top and the gameplay at the bottom. And then I can also add another scene and I'll put the movie in there. And let's just say, I'll just put this down here, make that a little bit bigger. All right. Then one other thing I want to add to this is an actual banner that has my Twitch information on it. So if I put this on uh, Instagram, it would show my username. So I'm just going to add an image, a new image. The file is going to be in my downloads. Vertical banner. So now I can make this smaller so it fits correctly. So I could throw that in between my face cam and my uh, gameplay. So now I have a vertical scene set up and I have my normal widescreen scene set up and they're both going at the same time. So let's give this a shot here. So let's hit our backtrack back track clip vertical. That should give us our last 30 seconds. Backtrack saving and backtrack saved. So for me, you'll notice I get two backtrack uh, files set out here. That's because I record everything to MKV and then I let OBS automatically remux to MP4. Uh, that's just because the way I have it set up. So normally you would just get one if you're using MP4 or .mov, uh, but since I'm using MKV and auto remuxing to MP4, I get two. So we'll play this. So I could throw that in between my face cam and my uh, gameplay. So that was the last 30 seconds.
So that was the backtrack recording. And then I'm going to click the regular record vertical. You notice that that changes to a timer and lets you know how long the recording is going. So this is the uh, testing the regular recording vertical scene. So I will stop that. Head to my desktop. There's my vertical recording folder that I had set up. You notice that that changes to a timer and lets you know how long the recording is going. So this is the uh, testing the regular recording vertical scene. So that's a really quick rundown of how this thing works. So once you have those MP4 files, you can put them wherever you want to upload them to uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram stories, uh, wherever you want to. There is a couple of little tricks I want to show you. Uh, so if I had two scenes down here, uh, let's just say I had uh, a vertical game. And the only thing I wanted in here was my um, movie. So no face cam on this one, just the movie. And then I can actually click on this vertical game and I can do something called linking the scene. So this one is the vertical game. So I would want to link that to my movie or my, my game scene in my widescreen. And then my vertical face cam, I actually want to link that to my face cam. So what that does is whenever I change the scene in OBS, the widescreen version of OBS, it's going to actually automatically change the vertical scene here. So now I'm on the movie or the game. If I switch to face cam, it automatically switches to the vertical face cam. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to keep track of switching different scenes or have a, a thousand different hotkeys on your stream deck. If you want to quickly switch between scenes or sources, things of that nature. Uh, the other great thing is scene transitions. You also get an extra vertical scene transition. So you can set your scene transition uh, separate between your widescreen and your vertical. So if you see here, the my regular scene transition is set to cut. So this big window is going to be a hard cut. The vertical scene transition is a fade. So if I switch these scenes, this one will be a hard cut. This will be a quick fade. And you see how that works. That is the vertical ATOM plugin. Super quick. Uh, really nice. Uh, it's free. So get out there and make some vertical content, get it to your Instagram stories, your Facebook stories. That's a great way to grow your channel. Something other than just going live to get your name out there, to grow your community and hopefully be successful on Twitch, uh, YouTube, kick, whatever you're doing. All right. So now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's talk about this. This is one of my sweet show place designs. Everything I do is created by me, either hand drawn by me or designed by me. Uh, I do have links to the store. I'll put them in the description. Uh, they're also underneath the description uh, on YouTube. There's a, a quick little banner there that takes you directly to the store. Again, not obligated to, but if you want a t-shirt, a hoodie, something like that, there are kid sizes available as well. Also use the promo code CHOWLB, C-H-O-W-L-B for free shipping. Uh, if you guys have any questions, of course, comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff uh, always. Uh, but thank you so much for hanging out with me for this uh, quick little tutorial. Get out there and get your vertical content on. Thank you again. Love you all. Peace.